there. Uh, my name's Angela. Uh, some of you following my exercise routines on YouTube. Uh, last time we spoke, uh, we mentioned um, aerobic, uh, anaerobic, anaerobic threshold, HIIT, high intensity interval training. Um, so, what are these? Um, I don't want to talk too much, but it, it is important uh, in order to understand. Um, okay, so basically, when we work aerobically, we work with oxygen, and when we work anaerobically, we work without oxygen. A good example of this is the warm up routine that I did for you. Uh, notice that I can talk easily all the way through, giving teaching points, and um, breathing regular and consistently. I was working with oxygen. Okay, then uh, I could easily have carried on. Uh, and done the whole routine again and I'm sure you could as well uh, or even beyond that okay um, if however I'd started to um, find it difficult to talk normally and started being short of breath and panting um, I have now switched to working anaerobically and without oxygen okay and now I will tire more easily uh, I have now hit my anaerobic threshold Okay, so anaerobic threshold is a point during exercise when your body must switch from aerobic to anaerobic metabolism. Uh, this is a zone that cannot be sustained for long periods as lactic acid, uh, a byproduct of energy from glucose, um, will quickly start to build up in the blood. Okay, we can easily work out our um, exercise zones. Uh, I'm not going to tell you uh, now, I'll tell you next time, um, as they're not going to apply at the moment okay if you had the figures you could uh, take them to a gym and use them on a machine and check that you're working in the right zone but the gyms aren't open so we're going to rely on the breathing test instead okay so the higher your fitness levels the higher your anaerobic threshold is and then the faster and harder you can work before crossing over into anaerobic metabolism Okay, some examples of anaerobic exercise are uh, running at a comfortable pace, like light jogging. Uh, remember, you should be able to talk and uh, easily, not breathing too hard. Um, brisk walking, swimming, cycling, dancing, anything like that. Okay, uh, some examples of anaerobic exercises then include cycling fast, that's called spinning. Um, jogging fast, jumping, sprinting, stair climbing, Weight training, uh, like we've done, also body weight exercises such as squats, push ups, um, dips, anything like that. Uh, we can only do so many of these before the lactic acid burn kicks in, and one more set, and that's what's done. Okay. Um, if we run aerobically uh, and then switch to sprinting, we'll soon tire. So we need to know our exercise zones and our anaerobic threshold. Uh, for a marathon runner, for example, uh, working outside of his zone and risking the switch to work anaerobically and without oxygen will determine whether he finishes the race or not. Okay. Um, aerobic exercises are very important. They build cardiovascular and respiratory fitness as well as strengthening the heart and lungs. Uh, it also decreases your risk of diabetes okay, as it requires a lot of energy. Okay. It uses energy um, firstly from glycogen, um, which is from uh, sugar, from carbs that we've eaten. Uh, when these stores are depleted, then it starts to burn fat, fat stores. So, to maximise the fat burning, we want to stay in the aerobic zone for as long as we can if we're working aerobically to maximise the fat burning and not just use the food in the stomach from your last meal. Okay, so one, you need to be doing enough. So you don't want to be below your comfort zone. So just walking like this is no good. We need to get our heart rate up. You'll not be maximising the fat burn. Uh, two, we should be um, uh, notice our breathing. It should be consistent and regular. Okay, if we go, um, if we're working aerobically and we go above, um, above and start uh, working too hard, uh, then yes, we're not. We might not be burning body fat at all, um, and yes, we could just be burning the energy up from food 
in your stomach from your last meal. All right. Both systems burn fat, but minute for minute, um, you might burn more calories on a treadmill, say, than in a weight training room. But as soon as you finish your uh, workout, your calorie burn stops from aerobic workout within one to two hours, depending on how much you've done. Anaerobic exercises, however, um, uh, that as well as building muscle and strength, uh, they are higher intensity exercises and they burn more calories in a shorter amount of time and therefore burn more body fat because uh, it does take a higher calorific burn to repair and build the muscle. So this increases your metabolic rate and it does burn, uh, increases your metabolic rate and burns fat for up to 72 hours after your workout so that's fantastic okay so these workouts are shorter but burn as much fat in a shorter amount of time um, if not more than uh, an aerobic workout so on um, HIIT high intensity interval training this is the best way to increase our cardio respiratory and metabolic functions okay we can use this to increase our anaerobic threshold and our fitness levels then. Um, so in, by increasing our anaerobic threshold, we can work longer before the exercise becomes too hard um, and we start panting and being short of breath. Um, it's defined as mixing short, intense bursts of exercise, um, moderate exercise that is, um, into um, uh, some short bursts of anaerobic exercise sorry uh, into moderate exercise aerobic exercise okay which is normally about a third so we can work aerobically and uh, moderately for say uh, 90 seconds then short bursts for 30 seconds or ratio of 60 to 20 something like that okay and um, so to maximize fat burning then we should be working aerobically it's 60 60 to 70 percent of our maximum heart rate to burn fat stores. Okay, we should be staying in that zone. We'll talk about that another time. We should be working anaerobically then, and that's at 80 to 90% of our maximum heart rate to build muscle. Okay, and um, we should be including uh, high intensity interval training to increase our anaerobic, anaerobic threshold and our metabolic rate. So over the next few weeks, we'll be doing some short routines and including uh, HIIT in those. Uh, these will be for legs, arms, abs and some cardio as well to increase your fitness levels, your anaerobic threshold and to help you maximise your fat burn. Okay, so, so all I'm going to say about that, I hope, you, um, I hope that makes a bit of sense. Okay, so uh, first of all, we're going to look at some... Um, aerobic and anaerobic exercises. Okay, then we might do a little warm up first, so a little bit of a march, and just give me a heel to toe, heel to toe. And stop. Okay, then. So if you want to straighten this front leg, bend the back leg, one hand on top of the other, and just stretch that leg. Then we can take the same leg back. So both feet pointing forward. Bend the front leg now, hands on the waist, push forward. Keep that heel down at the back. So I'm stretching the calf there. Okay, so change to the other leg then. And stop. The same. So lean forward to get a good stretch. And come up, take the same foot back. Okay. And with both feet facing forward, heel down at the back. Okay, arms to the back. Okay, push shoulders back, look up, just stretch your chest. And relax the shoulders forward, push forward, head down, stretch the back. And come in, one leg behind and on the waist, just over to the side. 
and down and change. And up. Okay then, right, aerobic exercises then. Um, it could be, as I said, a light, a light march, a light, a light jog, sorry. Or it could be a march if you don't want to jog. This would need to be quite a high march. Right, we need to uh, get our heart rate up, but not too much, remember. So we want arms strong, pumping back and forth. Okay? Okay, and side steps. Moves that we did in our in our warm up routine. Okay. And curls, hamstring curls. So back, back. So always try and include your arms, not just your legs. And into knee lift, single, single and double. Okay, single, single, double. Let's do two more of single and double. Single and double. Okay, some aerobic exercises then. Those are some aerobic exercises. So we look at some anaerobic exercises then. Remember for aerobic, light jog. Okay, so anaerobic then, we'll be jogging a lot faster than that. Okay, arms up. Breathe, don't hold your breath. Okay, um, star jumps. And then skater, which is um, opposite arm and leg, like this. Okay, and we're jumping. We're doing a little jump off the floor. And the last one we're going to look at is jumps from the floor. So come down, bend your knees, and then jump up. Touch the floor and jump up. Okay? Okay, so we're just going to try and put those together into our 60 seconds moderate aerobic exercise to 20 seconds short burst anaerobic. Okay? So we're going to start off with jog or high march, 60 seconds. Okay? Right, nice breathing. Halfway there. Ten left. And then into fast jog. And here we go. Okay, fast jog, arms up. Okay, one, two, twenty seconds. Recovery side steps and into hamstring curls. 60 seconds recovery period. Okay, it should be nice and easy. Gain your breath back, and we're halfway there. seconds left. And ten. And from this we're going to do 20 second star jumps. And, and go. Star jumps. Go 
Come on, find it. And stop. A few recovery side steps. And now tap back. Tap your foot back. Arms forward. You can do alternate arms if you want or both arms together. Okay, recover. Okay, breathing should be nice and regular now. Halfway there. seconds. From this we're going to do 20 seconds skater fast and go. And side to six. Well done. And knee lifts now. Single, single, double. Breath back. Halfway there. Breathe. And nearly done. Last one, and then you two jumps from the floor. So come down and pop. Nearly done. Last one. Okay, well done. So your heart is probably pumping nice and fast now. And we'll do that all again. So into light jog. Breathing back, halfway there. Ten seconds left. <coughs> Into fast jog, <coughs> arms up. Okay. Okay, you can go faster if you want. Get a bit more work. <coughs> and curls. there okay and into star jumps I'm fast Stop. And 
step back. Get your breath back. Halfway there. Okay, and into skater. And into knee lifts. Last one, and jumps from the floor, step down, up, explosive movement, just two more, and last one. So, your heart must be pumping really fast now, you're definitely working anaerobically and you've only been doing that HIIT routine for five minutes. So it's recommended that you do double that, so ten minutes, so twice what we've just done. Two more, three more. As your fitness levels improve, your anaerobic threshold, you'll be able to do more sets. Okay. And stop. Okay. Breathe in, regular, and breathe in, and out. In, and out. And that's in, stretch up, and out, thank you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you understood all about uh, anaerobic, anaerobic, um, uh, IT, IT, anaerobic thresholds. Right, we'll be talking a little bit more about them over the coming few weeks, but while we're doing exercises. Okay, so I'll be setting you some different routines, um, <coughs> and including IT into those for uh, abs, some cardio, arms, legs, um, and abs, alright, so that'll be good, so look forward to seeing you then.